Welcome back everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed your single leg strength. Hopefully those legs are feeling strong and we're building that capacity for when we get back in the gym for some back squats, some front squats, and evening out any deficiencies that we have from our left leg to our right leg or our right leg to our left leg. We're gonna roll right into it. Today's Metcon is a nine minute EMOM. I'm sorry to tell you there's no rest today. We're gonna to be going for nine minutes continuously. So pace is gonna be a big factor in today's workout. Minute one is going to be alternating dumbbell or kettlebell lunge. Minute two is going to be dumbbell or kettlebell deadlift. And then minute three is going to be regular sit-ups or weighted sit-ups. We're gonna get right into it in those dumbbell lunge. All the same things are gonna apply that we talked about in those split squats. Make sure that you're giving yourself enough width from left to right to really balance out. And make sure that whether you're lunging forward or lunging backward, that we're keeping those shoulders right over top of those hips and keeping that torso nice and upright. From there, we did sumo deadlifts earlier this week for some skill strength. Today, we're gonna hit our regular deadlifts. You can stand your dumbbell or kettlebell up nice and tall. If that happens to not give you enough range of motion, you can also lay it down flat and hold it at the handle for both hands. Remember, we're gonna to wanna to keep that back nice and flat, sending those hips back, really feeling it in those glutes and those hamstrings. Then, for our weighted sit-ups, no, I'm not gonna use a 40-pound dumbbell, by the way. While it may be entertaining for you guys to see me to try doing that, it wouldn't be good for the demo video. We are gonna go butterfly sit-ups. So we're gonna put those legs, feet together, legs out, hold that dumbbell on your chest. This is gonna make it a little more difficult. We are gonna start shoulders on the ground and finish shoulders in front of our hips. If you only have one dumbbell or one kettlebell, that's a little bit heavier, no worries. Just do unweighted sit-ups. You're gonna find these to be a little more difficult, not only because there's weight on our chest, but also because we don't have that upward momentum assisting us like we normally do when we can use our arms. So, nine minute emo, alternating lunges, deadlifts, sit-ups. Hope you guys have a great time. Hope you guys have a great day. And hopefully I'll see you back here tomorrow for Saturday's workout.